Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get your tie-dye shirt ready to go and ready to dye. Um, so the things you'll need are your plain white t-shirt, um, your rubber bands, and then for some of them you might want like a ruler or a stick or something, um, but that depends on what type of shirt you're doing. You can do them without it. Um, but it makes some of them easier. So the three different types of shirts that I'm going to show you how to fold um, and how to create are the spiral, which is the type of shirt that I'm wearing. And that's what your classic kind of tie dye looks like. It's got a big swirl. Um, and then I will show you fan fold, which is like this one. Uh, so that gives you stripes and you can have your stripes going this way like mine or going up and down uh, either way. And then a bullseye, which I don't have an example of, but it looks like a bullseye. So you have one color in the middle and then a ring around it of different colors after that. Um, so that's what we're gonna start with. The very first thing you need to do is you need to take your white t-shirt and you need to soak it in water. Um, but then after you soak it in water, get it nice and wet, you wanna wring it out and get as much of the water out of it as you can. So you want it to be wet, but not too wet. You don't want it to be dripping or anything. So dunk it in some water and then squeeze it and wring it and get as much of the water out of it as you can so it's damp but it's not wet. All right, so the first uh, type of tie-dye that I'm gonna show you is the spiral. And so this one you'll want the ruler for if you have one or a stick or you can use the end of a spoon, a big spoon or anything like that. Um, so first you have to decide where you want the center of your spiral to be. I usually do them in the center, um, but today we're gonna do something different and I'm gonna have the center of my spiral be right on this Camp AJ logo here. And all you have to do is you spin the ruler and just kind of swirl all the fabric around like this. You can use your other hand to kind of push it around. And then when it's all swirled together, you'll hold it like this and then pull the ruler out and then you can take your bands and put them on. Um, so the way you wanna put your bands on is to create six sections. So you'll put one across like this. Um, you'll make six sections if you have three bands. The more bands you have, the more sections of color your shirt will have. And then you'll put one across like this and then you're ready to go. So each of these sections, you can put a different color in or sometimes to make a really cool big spiral, I'll put like two sections of red here, two of blue here, two of yellow there. Um, but an important thing that you need to remember is you don't need to leave any white on the shirt when you're dyeing it. The rubber bands will make the white spots. Next, we can do the fan fold. Uh, sometimes people like to use a ruler for this one, but you don't need to. Uh, so this one, you'll fold your sleeves in so your shirt is all kind of one big rectangle. And then you're going to fold it either across this way or up and down. That's your choice. Um, so you fold it like this, just in a little section. Fold it up and then you're going to fold once backwards. And then you're going to fold forwards again backwards. So this one's called fan fold because it's kind of like you're making a fan out of your shirt. And then forward again and then backwards. And then you'll just put your bands on like this. The tighter your bands are on there, the more white you're going to get on your shirt. And so folding it this way will give you stripes that go up and down. If you fold it the other way, that will give you stripes that go across your shirt like the one I showed you earlier. So then this is the fan fold. On this one, I found you need to use a lot of dye um, just because the fabric is folded so thick. So if you choose this one, make sure you use a lot of dye or else you'll have a lot of white spots on your shirt. And then the last one, I think this last one is the easiest way to fold your shirt. All you have to do is lay your shirt out flat, pick where you want the center of your bullseye to be. This time I'm going to pick the very middle and you just pick up your shirt from wherever you want the center to be and kind of make sure it's all smooth like this and then you just put your rubber bands on. 
And so this part will be the center of your bullseye, whatever color you want the very center to be, that's what you'll put there. And then it will go out from there and you can do as many or as few colors as you like on this. Where it's thicker at the bottom, it's harder to get your rubber bands on. But there you go, that's how you fold for a bullseye. Now you can go watch the other videos and find out how to dye it.